Hi, my name is Haruki. I'm presenting our work, Risk Sensitive Sequential Action Control with Multimodal Human Trajectory Forecasting for Safe Crowd Robot Interaction. The past years have seen successful applications of robotics to a certain class of tasks where a single or a group of robots operate in the confined designated space with carefully designed coordination. However, today's robots still face a major challenge when operating in unconfined open spaces that are shared with humans. For example, let us consider a navigation problem where this robot wants to reach a goal location in an environment populated with humans. This problem is particularly challenging in two aspects. First, human motion is stochastic and often uncoordinated, unlike multi-robot systems. Second, the robot must be aware of the risk of collision with humans, as this failure mode will result in a catastrophic accident. This is especially true in autonomous driving scenarios. To address those challenges, this work proposes a novel online framework for safe crowd robot interaction via the use of risk sensitive stochastic optimal control and explicit probabilistic prediction of human motion. We begin by reviewing relevant prior work in the literature. There are two types of approaches in terms of how the robot plans its motion. First, end-to-end -end approaches try to address this problem by directly learning and mapping from a representation of the surrounding environment to a motor command by means of reinforcement learning or imitation learning. This approach has the advantage that the policy execution is very efficient once it's learned. However, data-driven policies are hard to modify at runtime, reducing flexibility of the framework to obtain a specifically desired robot behavior in different tasks or scenarios. On the other hand, modular approaches decouple the problem into explicit probabilistic prediction and model-based control. The explicit prediction can be visualized and brings about better interpretability of the resulting interaction. Furthermore, this framework makes it possible to change the robot's behavior at runtime by simply modifying the objective function. Our work takes this approach to decouple the problem into probabilistic prediction and model-based control. However, our framework is different from prior work in that the controller we propose is a novel sampling-based stochastic MPC. This high performance and highly efficient algorithm allows the robot to interact with tens of humans jointly in real time, which is quite challenging for a model-based approach. We also note that unlike prior work, the control algorithm takes into account the risk of collision by solving risk-sensitive optimal control, which we'll review in the next couple of slides. Successfully encoding the notion of risk in robots motion planning is crucial in safety critical applications. There exists many different formulations to perform risk aware planning, including chance constraint optimization, conditional value at risk, and entropic risk. While each formulation has advantages and drawbacks, in the crowd robot interaction problem, we have to consider various factors such as non Gaussianity, nonlinearity, and continuity. Unfortunately, existing methods in chance constraint optimization and Seaver optimization are not well suited to these kinds of systems. There also does not exist a method in entropic risk optimization that can overcome those challenges. In this work, we propose a tractable solution to this challenging entropic risk minimization problem. The entropic risk measure, also known as exponential disutility, has been extensively studied in both the economics and the controls literature since 1970s. This risk measure applies the exponential transformation to the objective with a user-specified scalar parameter sigma. Taylor expanding the risk measure, one can show that it approximately decouples the mean and the variance when sigma is a small value. From this, we can tell that the risk sensitivity parameter sigma 
determines how much we care about the variability of the stochastic objective in addition to the mean. In this formulation, a larger sigma value increases the risk sensitivity while the usual risk neutral objective is recovered at sigma approaches zero. Now that we have introduced the entropic risk, let's discuss the system model considered in this work. First, we treat the ego robot as a deterministic continuous time system with control of fine dynamics. On the other hand, the human's positions are modeled by stochastic discrete time dynamics. Since human motion is inherently multimodal, the underlying distribution D is most likely non-Gaussian. We do not assume that we have access to an analytical expression for D. We also do not assume continuous time dynamics for humans, since in practice the position information is provided by sensor readings, which only happens at discrete times at a certain frequency. Overall, the joint system becomes a stochastic hybrid system with time-driven switching. In our previous work, we proposed a novel NPC algorithm for nonlinear stochastic hybrid systems. This algorithm, named stochastic sequential action control, perturbs a given nominal control schedule at every replanning time. This perturbation is derived such that the resulting control schedule optimally improves the expected value of the receding horizon cost. The deterministic version of this algorithm was proposed by Ansari and Murphy in 2016. As shown in the figure, the control perturbation is defined by a finite horizon nominal control schedule u, perturbation time tau, time length epsilon, and the control value v. While the details can be found in the paper, we showed that optimizing the control perturbation reduces to a collection of quadratic programs that can be solved analytically. This is what each quadratic optimization looks like in stochastic SAC. The first term is a quadratic control cost that appears in the optimal control cost function. The second term is a fine in perturbation V, which depends on the expected value of the adjoint variable rho that is of the same dimension as robot state x. This expectation can be computed by Monte Carlo sampling, where each adjoint trajectory is induced by the corresponding forward simulation of the nominal control schedule and sampled human motion from distribution D. Now, this quadratic optimization is for the particular case where we have the expected value of the receding horizon cost as our original objective. In the present paper, we have extended the framework to the case of entropic risk and derived the new quadratic optimization formula, which is a novel contribution. We can see that this is a strict generalization of the stochastic SAC since setting sigma to zero recovers the same quadratic optimization problem. Due to the similarity of the new formula, we can still use the same algorithmic framework to perform online control perturbation. The overall system architecture in our implementation is illustrated here. We need a separate generative behavior prediction model that is deep learned. This part is detailed later. The system works as follows. First, the control scheduler queries the prediction model as the new position measurements come in. At the same time, the scheduler asks the main controller to replan at a certain frequency. The controller first performs nominal search, which is a simple search algorithm with motion primitives. This allows the robot to consider the effect of various control candidates on the resulting interaction. Once the search is done, the best nominal control schedule is perturbed by risk-sensitive SAC and stored in the scheduler's queue. Finally, the scheduler ensures that the control command is sent to the robot at a high frequency. While our framework is agnostic to the choice of behavior prediction models, in this work we chose to use trajectory++ 
a novel trajectory forecasting model recently proposed by Saltzman, Ivanovich, and co-authors. Trajectron++ is a deep recurrent neural network model and explicitly accounts for social interactions and dynamics through a spatiotemporal graph. The inherent multimodality of human motion is captured by a conditional variational order encoder with a discrete categorical latent variable. Although not used in our work, Trajectron++ can also consider same contexts such as semantic maps, as well as different agent types. We chose this framework due to its superior accuracy over similar existing works and high efficiency in generating samples. One important feature of Trajectron++ is the ability to make predictions conditioned on the future trajectory candidate of the robot. This conditional prediction is known by prior work to facilitate effective human-robot interaction when integrated into planning. We used this feature in our real-world experiment. The model we used was trained on the ETH and UCY pedestrian datasets that are publicly available. In our simulation study, we first compared the risk-neutral version of our framework against three other baselines in a scene clipped from the ETH dataset. BIC is a geometric collision avoidance method based on Voronoi cells. Similar to velocity obstacles, this method does not use prediction from Trajectron++. Exhaustive search uses Trajectron++, but searches over discrete control sequences. Nominal search is our framework, but without the control perturbation by risk-sensitive SAC. The horizontal axis in the left figure shows how close the robot approached the goal. The vertical axis shows how far the robot remained from humans throughout the episode. Safe and efficient algorithms are in the upper right corner. This plot shows that our approach in red best balanced the safety and efficiency achieving effective robot navigation while avoiding collisions. Next, we studied the effect of risk sensitivity on crowd-robot interaction. As desired, the empirical results show that a larger value of the risk sensitivity parameter results in a higher probability of yielding to oncoming humans. This is reasonable since a risk-sensitive robot is penalized by being in a state with high uncertainty. This suggests that the risk sensitivity parameter adds an additional degree of freedom in choosing desirable robot behavior at runtime. Our simulation study was followed by a real-world experiment where we asked five human subjects to walk at their normal speeds to designated goals. The robot's goal was randomized after each episode and not known to humans. We first used the risk-neutral setting and turned the robot future conditional prediction off, so the setup is identical to the first simulation study. As shown in the video, the robot's motion interfered with a human's path and resulted in a collision. On the other hand, increasing risk sensitivity and using robot future conditional prediction resulted in much smoother interactions between the robot and the humans throughout multiple episodes. An example is shown in this video where the robot found a way around the humans quickly and avoided collisions. In summary, we have presented a novel modular approach to crowd robot interaction via risk sensitive optimal control and data driven human motion prediction. As a theoretical contribution, we have extended and generalized the stochastic SAC algorithm to account for the entropic risk objective. The risk sensitivity parameter was found to play a crucial role in specifying a desired robot behavior at runtime, such as yielding. We confirmed in experiment that our risk sensitive robot combined with robot future conditional prediction of trajectory plus plus achieves safe and efficient navigation. Thank you for your attention. Please reach out to me with any questions you may have or see me at the interactive session.